It smells like shit in here. I wonder why. Oprah Winfrey, shut the fuck up. Well. We're gonna get trash tonight. <laughs> sucking dick sucking job interview always carry you some good old rubbing alcohol to a job interview comes the fucking numbers down and after that I would drive the fuck back home hope I don't get pulled let's go back in the motherfucking goddamn town to my first fucking job I was hired right on June the second, I believe, of nineteen eighty nine at the Burger King on West Motherfucking Harlan Avenue. Man, I was so excited. I was finally ready to motherfucking work. My cousin was hired too with me. And we were both told I don't worry about it. we we hear you Mount Calvary students are some good workers. Well, let's see, what did I do when I was there? I fucked around. I tried, yeah, I tried to do my work, but one thing I loved to do was wash dishes and get fucking water on the goddamn floor. I skipped this shit. I stained the fucking stainless steel <laughs> with the greaser. Well, the owner came in and he was cussing out the manager. He's like, and he's like, I'm told. And next thing you know, they tell me to get. <laughs> get. My ass was fired from my very first job I ever had. Okay. I went and I, oh yeah, I was fired in July. <laughs> in June of 1990, I went to Taco Hell, I mean Taco Bell. I went in and the manager, I complied and the manager was like, are you willing to work? Are you willing to work real long and hard now? Because I got a kid's baseball game and a sick dog and you start the day. And I'm thinking, oh, fuck. Well, I didn't cuss like that back then, but I was, you know, I said yes. I went in. That was the shittiest fucking goddamn place to work. Taco Bell on Vernon Avenue. I mean, the very, good God. The very first question that bitch asked me, are you, what school you go to? Mount Calvary Christian Academy. <laughs> are you a Christian? Like, yes. And next, you know, they were talking about the nasty, and even the day stuff that I wouldn't feel comfortable talking about, about sex, about ejaculation. Ugh. Keisha and Tana Wanda, two of the sickest bitches I've ever known. Well, I, 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 I was very lazy. I, did, I, barely, I didn't even do enough to get by. Well, finally, they, he told me, you know, about a month later, he told me to come back in a month if I still wanted to work there. I crossed the border. Remember that commercial? I went to fucking Pizza Hut. Man, I wanted to get a job at Pizza because there's this girl up there I was head over heels falling for. Sissy. I, mean, I was persistent. It took some mad persistence. But I finally got hired at the Pizza Hut on July 17th, 1990. It was a Tuesday. My first day of work was that tomorrow, Wednesday. The happiest job I ever fucking had. I swear to God. I still get free drinks from Pizza Hut today, by the way. Well, this is historic moment. My 25th birthday at Pizza Hut. I get this, I uh, sneak one of the employees to give me a free lemonade. <laughs> Can't beat this fucking rubbing alcohol, though. <laughs> well, okay. I'm not gonna tell you about my wonderful day at Pizza Hut. That's another fucking video. I'm running out of fucking goddamn time here! Bitch. Okay, well, in November of 2002, I got a job at the fucking goddamn Kinston Country Club. 
and that's the ass place to work. They they put butter, packs of butter on the table. If it wasn't, didn't look like it had been touched. They recycle the shit. Don't ever eat at that place. Nasty ass fucking place. They reuse the shit. I ain't gonna eat there. If I ever make it big, I, I'll be goddamn. If I'm gonna get a membership, that, that I don't know if they've changed out, but that was one nasty ass fucking place to work and to eat. They fired, they fired me like a couple weeks later because they said I was too friendly with the members. I talked too much. I'm a fucking waiter. You're supposed to be friendly. Fuck you too, Kinson Country Club. Fuck you. Okay. December 6th, 1992, me and the manager had an argument because I about took his breadsticks to get to my customers. I know they're my breadsticks. I got pissed the fuck off. I walked the fuck out. <laughs> well, I got so mad I sprayed some pepper spray, got out of my eye, so I went into the bathroom and I was told not to come back again by the manager. Well, the assistant manager, they let me come back and finally he was like, look, Chris, he called up down and said, oh shit, he wants to talk to me. He said, look, Chris, as long as you behave, I don't mind you hanging out here. I See, I thought you were going to hurt somebody. You sprayed pepper spray. Whew, I was great sadly. Okay, I went and got a job at Famous Sub and Pizza that same month. Was there for two weeks. Look at this. Get this fucking shit. He wanted me to clean a goddamn oven with oven cleaner dressed in a, sh in a shirt, tie, and slacks. What type of shit is that? Fuck that shit. He wanted me to be a delivery driver. Fuck that shit. Better get have me clean a goddamn oven. Don't let me, don't let me make me stain my fucking clothes as if I really give a fuck to begin with about it. Shit, man. Okay. Where did I work after that? I do got a list of jobs I've worked at along <laughs> my army. So, so far that's two jobs I've been fired from. One I've been, uh, mutual and one I fucking quit. God damn it. And I wanted to come back to pizza, but I was told by Ken that his boss wouldn't let me come back. Because I, 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 I went over their heads like mad back in the day. <laughs> Real ideal employee. <laughs> Not. <laughs> but I don't give a fuck. Okay. Well, after that, where the fuck else do I work? Okay. I got a job at Fleur Daniels Construction at DuPont. Hmm. Hi! Uh, February the 23rd, 1993. Okay? I was fired in April <laughs> for poor work performance. I always wanted to try to find a place to sleep. I mean, I was always tired there. And the man even commented, you seem, you seem to be happy that you've been terminated. Hey, I mean, I got to go home. Didn't have to fucking know I could go to fucking bed. God damn it. After that, <laughs> I got a job at the motherfucking food line, but I was tired when I was supposed to be working, so I kept calling, about, calling out about two or three times, calling in, saying he couldn't make it. They finally dropped me off the fucking schedule. <laughs> what the <that> fuck? <laughs> Jobs. I've had so fucking many of them. Then my dad and my uncle pulled some strings and got me a job at Carolina Dairy. I was told I'd be working tomorrow, but they changed their mind at the last minute. That fucking pissed me off! Nothing pissed me off more than when they tell me something they don't get that fucking word. I'm not talking about that anymore. I'm talking about the shitheads running the fucking Carolina goddamn dairy. Keep in mind so far, that was on Burning Avenue too. <coughs> my mom, mom made a comment I was moving down Burning Avenue. With the <laughs> and the, God fucking sucking dick, sucking damn it, son of a fucking bitch. God damn it. Okay. Carol out there, not employed for like a month. But I would get pissed off now when the cartons would come out mismatched or something like that, and I would throw cartons around. <laughs> throw them in the chains of that, that and watch the day. I went on the conveyor and <laughs> got squat and the juice splattered all the fuck around. I didn't clean up at night. <laughs> Finally, he said, you have to terminate it. I don't need you no more. He told me to get it, as my granddaddy liked to say. <laughs> After that, I went to interim, uh, what, temporaries, okay? First of all, they got me a job in a construction outfit on Airport Road. 
I was there for three days and fighting the man told me he was letting go so he could give someone else a chance. He was too fucking pussy to tell me I just didn't make the cut. Stupid fucking cunt. After that, I was sent to outside where I was fired for poor, I, I, I personally, I intentionally got myself fired by working slow because that, that, that a bald fucking man always getting on my case ever pissing me off so I'm like, fuck this shit. Well, they got me on with my cousin-in-law, Sonny. He was a supervisor at Smithfield. After a few days, I finally called it quit. Fuck that shit. Okay, that this was in June or the summer of 1994. Okay, well, that uh, that same month I got a job with Papa John's. But when the guy fucking Jimmy fucked me over a paycheck, I was like, I'm uh, I, I got pissed. Well, this is my resume. I'm applying for a job here. I don't know what the fucking company does. I really don't give a fuck. I just want a fucking paycheck. But you want to know a little bit about me? I will tell you as much as I fucking can, as truthfully as I can. If I forget, chalk it up to human memory. Nobody's fucking perfect. If you don't like it, just don't fucking hire me, goddammit. Okay. <laughs> June the 2nd, 1989, I was hired at Burger King. <laughs> well, I was overly enthusiastic. At the same time, I like to goof off a little bit. I like to get the floor soaking wet when I wash dishes. Sometimes I would fuck up and sit in the water. Uh, <laughs> and needless to say, my undoing was when I stained the stainless steel with the greaser. What the fuck are they calling you stainless steel for if you even stain it with the greaser? I mean, duh! <laughs> well, I was fired, one, you know, in July, early July of that same year. Okay? The next year, 19 fucking 90, I got a job at Taco Hell, I mean Taco Bell. I was there for, you know, about a month. It was kind of a mutual decision, because, uh, didn't have any heart for the work. I didn't like the co-workers. I came to work one day and the manager said, look, come back in a month if you still want to work here. I said, I, fuck that. I crossed the border, went over to Pizza Hut, got an application. From July the 17th, 1990 till December 6th, 1992, I worked at Pizza Hut. When I finally walked out, we got pissed off at the manager because he, he, we had a uh, slight argument and I walked the fuck out. But while I was working at Pizza Hut in November of 1992, I got a job with the fucking Kinston Country Club. I was that go because they said I was too talkative to the customers, too friendly. Duh. Well, well pr quite frankly, Betty was the waitress sent to train me. She didn't do shit to train me. She didn't teach me shit. And all that, that was one nasty ass place. If, if they served silverware or cups, or a patch of butter that looked like they were untouched, they just put the shit back up on the shelf and served it to the next customer. Nasty ass place. Okay, well when I quit Pizza Hut that same month, December of 1992, I got a job of famous Southern Pizzas. I walked out when he, w when he was gonna make me help clean a, na a nasty ass oven with oven cleaner and grease, full of shit grease, and he, and he, Want me to do it dressed in consecutive executive clothing. A nice button, white button up shirt. Nice ass tie. Slacks. Fuck that shit. <laughs> okay, I got a job at Fluid Danish Construction at DuPont on February the 23rd, 1993. I was there until early April of that same year when I was finally caught, caught sleep trying to sleep on the job. And I was fired for poor work performance. <laughs> Man, it's a good thing for the guard me. I was a, I was a blight. I mean, I didn't do shit. When I was there. Well, I did as little as I possibly could. Okay. In June of that same year, I got a job at Food Line. Man, but working for that fat bitch, her name was Dottie. <laughs> Fuck her. 
I, I, I finally I got called in too many times because I wake up feeling like shit when I was supposed to be at work, feeling tired, and I call in saying I couldn't, I was sick. Finally, they dropped me out the fucking schedule. <laughs> okay, my dad and Uncle Mark pulled a few strings to get me a job at Carolina Dairies. I think it was either September or, or, or yeah, October of 1993. I was there for about a month. I was fired because I was destroying the. Product, you know, I get pissed off when the shit would come, mint, the products would come mix match because he had to unmix mix match them. Ah, oh, fuck this. And whenever I would drop a cartons full of milk or juice, I would <laughs> throw them in the conveyor so, you know, they'd be crushed by the chain and I'd like to see the juice spat all around. He finally told me, You're fired. You're terminated. We don't need you no more. <laughs> <laughs> well, the next year, I think in April, I w was hired by Interim Temporary Services. They got me a job in some construction outfit on Airport Road. I was there for three days where the man told me he was going to give somebody else a chance to work. He was letting me go. He was too pussy to tell me I just didn't make the fucking cut. Fuck him. And of course he rode in on. Then I went to outside for, I don't know, a two weeks maybe. I was fired. For poor work performance. <laughs> Interim called me on uh, one day and said, They're firing you for poor work performance. <laughs> <laughs> Mom was in the room, but she asked who it was. I'm just, I just said they were done with me. I didn't tell her the truth. Then they got me a job at Smithfield Packing Plants, where I worked under my cousin, Sonny, he, cousin little Sonny, I'm not going to say his last name. But, anyways, fuck that shit. That, I, I mean, that was tedious ass work. I quit. Okay, in June, I think of next year, 1994, I got a job with Papa fucking John's. But he fucked me a paycheck, so I was like, fuck this, and I, he said, go get to work. I'm like, uh-uh. I, 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 I forgot what I said, John said, but anyways, I walked the fuck out. <laughs> okay, then, in February of 1995, I got a job at McDonald's on Highway 70. I was one sorry-ass employee at that place. I swear to God, I was sorry. Finally, I came in <laughs> to work one day, I think in March, and he's like, no, 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 get, well, that's a joke I like to make with my Uncle Mark and, and Granny, no, 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 get that big <laughs> he was a big, tall man, maybe about six foot three, maybe about three hundred pounds. No, no, no. Get. Really, what he said, what he said, no, no, we don't need you anymore. You're fired. <laughs> okay. In December of 19, that same year, 1995, I got a job at the same Burger King I was fired from in '89. Shit. I didn't last about even a month. Till they fired me. <laughs> I got a job at... Okay, I did not work again until the summer of 1998. I was hired at Crab Pots Incorporated. That was one shitty ass, fucked up, lame ass fucking job, man. I, first of all, I had to drive all the way to New Bern. That's a 60, a 60 mile round trip just to work a few hours. I was like, Fuck that shit. I can hear Ann Clark, my, you know, Whoever, tell me, you're getting good experience. If I ain't getting money, fuck the experience. I'll work for only one reason. The fucking money right here, goddammit. Fuck the noble bull fucking shit. I, I, I call it quits and I left that fucking place. And a, a week or two week, a week or two weeks later. Okay, my last job that I remember working was at Reno's Roadhouse in the summer of, not, in July of 1998. Man. They were so enthusiastic when they hired me. Well, anyways, the man was his fucking wife acted a little different towards me. And that is an abomination to me when a female acts indifferent towards me. Hate me or love me, but don't you dare act indifferent to me. I will fuck the place up. And I did that. I cost them some money while I fucked up my tossed some of the product on the roof. And I cussed, like I said, I used the word goddamn. Finally, they let me go. They fired me. <laughs> Today, I just ain't meant to work, you know, I'm, you know, because I ain't got no goodies to give. Until, look, until I can become a good looking guy, get the longer arms I want, I just ain't got the heart for it, man. 
Today, my best job I've done besides pizza was panhandling, begging for money. In 2007, I made $6,150.96. I want to be a rapper. Make, make big money rapping. You know, <laughs> I'm just a fuck up right now. But I don't give a fuck. Until I become a good looking guy and get the long arms I want and get some, some, a few goodies of my own, I ain't got no fucking goodies to give you. So go fuck off if you don't like it. Stupid fucking cunt.